Hello everyone, my name is Dhanashri. Today I will explain another tutorial of uh, air quality prediction. How to predict air quality. Okay, in that I will explain the uh, how to predict quality of air. Air quality evaluation is an important way to monitor the air control pollution. The characteristics of supply effect. Affects is sustainability for specific use. A few air populants called a criteria air populants are common throughout the United States. These populants can be injured for the health and harm the uh, Into that, uh, we have to gather the data set from a Kaggle website, also UCI repository. We can download from here. Into that data set information we can check here. Number of columns, number of instances are available. That is instance of data can be contained into that file. Okay. Uh, also that uh, a device is located in, on this field and significantly populated. We can find out the where uh, maximum population is available in that city. Also uh, data is recorded from 2004 to February 2005. You can check also updated data, which is available on that site. Okay. Uh, next one is that we can check here the uh, uh, attributes or column name of that data set like uh, CO carbon dioxide, second non maintained hydrocarbons, third one is benzene, nitrogen oxide. These are the column names. Okay. Another next command is that importing libraries. Uh, there are lots of the libraries are used for the air quality prediction. Uh, first is the import NumPy as NP. Instead of NumPy, you can use NP. Okay, it is an alias operator. Okay, alias is the keyword. Second is import Panda as a P. Panda, import Panda is a Python data analysis as a PD. Third one is import MATLAB plot lib as P, uh, PY plot as PLT. Okay. And import Seaborn as SNS. These two libraries are used for the visualization of our data set. Our data can be represented into graphical form, histogram, using histogram, bar chart. Okay. Using linear regression, we create a model. Linear regression is an algorithm which inbuilt uh, in available into that from SQLR linear model import linear regression from SQLR model selection import train and split data. Okay. Our data should be 100%. You have to divide into two parts. That is training part and testing part. Should be we also by default we can gather that. That is what that one is that the you have to divide data into 70, 30 form also 64, uh, 35 forms. Okay. Then we have to another library is import escalon dot matrix import mean square error and R square. Okay. This uh, user for the calculating the R square value also mean square error. Okay. Give the accuracy for this. Another is for the uh, warnings. Okay. Last command is very useful and attractive and it is very easy to understand guys. Uh, this is used for the visualization of an visual analysis that is how to visual our data into that. Okay. From Panda's visual analysis input visual analysis. Okay. I will run, run that. Then you can check here there is an error. Okay. Only I will write import Panda's dot util dot testing as tm okay it's an awning right you can check here kernel is ready okay then next command is loading the data set i will uh, store the data from my current directory i will create a new another variable data equal to pd dot read Read CSV file, okay? Uh, it's an awning, guys. Forget it. 
read uh, read excel file we can read excel file and so csv file and so json file okay and write here the file name okay our data set name okay then next command is that is uh, data dot head this command is used for the display the first rows by default you can check here the total number of rows and columns okay 0 to 4 this is by default the rows he displays using data dot head command okay you can check here the date is our first parameter first column name second one is a time third one is a carbon dioxide second one is pt 0 to st carbon oxide okay these are the our column names okay you can check here and okay next command is a data dot text similar that to data dot head is also display the five five uh, five rows by default the first five rows and data dot tell is a display the last five rows uh, from our data set okay you can check your total number of data set is 9356 okay okay then next command is data dot check okay this shape uh, shape method can be written the total number of rows and total number of columns okay you can check here the total number of rows is there and total number of columns okay these rows is starting from 0 to up to till data set okay next command is the data dot describe this command is used for the directly calculate the count value mean value standard deviation and minimum value maximum value okay using data dot describe command okay you can check here the total number of count is same to all the columns okay that is mean calculate the mean standard deviation mean and also 25% 55% 50% 75% okay into from our data set data set can be divided into 25% then how much calculation is there you can check here directly using data dot describe command okay next command is that data dot info this is a very also useful command you can directly identify the uh, data type or uh, name of the column okay you can check here the total number of present dates is the uh, return the total number of entries from 0 to 9356 okay then total number of columns so you can also display here the column names okay total number of columns is 15 and you can check here the first column name is the date there is a null value is available or not we can directly identify here there is a no null value then it can be displayed non null value okay then this data type is a data in time 64 nanosecond okay another name of column is a time and this data type having the object object is a in short we can we can contain the string value okay Also check here the float sixty four is a sixty four is the data our data type then integer sixty four okay you can directly check from using data dot info command okay okay and other part is the data pre processing okay data pre processing mean that pre processing refers the transformation applied to our data before the feeding into the machine learning algorithm which affects the accuracy. Of a final outcome in Python using Scikit-Learn, Scikit-Learn, Scikit-Learn that is Scikit-Learn, Scikit-Learn library has a pre-built functionality under the Scikit-Learn preprocessing. Using the Pandas library also offers a such of capabilities. There are many more options for preprocessing which we will explain. Explain the explorer. Okay. Another is that how to deal with the missing value that is. there is a content uh, that is into our data set the null values is available or not we can directly identify it here using the is null function okay we can check that data dot is null value dot sum okay we can directly identify that the null value is available or not okay that is zero it means that uh, there is a no missing value or no null value is available in our data set and other is that deleting missing value okay If the if uh, if the unwanted column is available or or uh, deleting the missing value, how to delete this value using that drop in? Okay, it is a by default the function or method available into that pandas. We can check here data cleaner is another variable equal to data dot drop in. 
means that null value we have to drop in here okay then we can display here is null value okay okay into that we can check here the sorry i have to run this all this commands okay i will run it directly we can check here the finding the mode of the value of our color of column mode color value is equal to we can calculate the mode value of that column that is carbon dioxide of gt that is the print here the mode value of carbon dioxide gt is that minus 20 we have to check here that there is a negative value you have to drop any okay another next command is a data dot is null dot any info you can directly print here the value there is no content of null value also display the info okay another command is value dot counts okay you can check here the return the object containing the counts of any value okay you can check here the how much how many values are unique unique values in our data set you can check here minus 2 dollar is that 1683 one is that 305 okay also we can check the length of data type next command is the data dot columns into that we can find out the easily column names using data dot columns we can directly run this command and check here the number of total number of columns names are available okay. okay into that command we can check the finding negative value we also see above minus 200 is that mode of that that carbon dioxide columns using simple for loop which can be done also with the value counts and their replacement okay create a new list l equal to blank blank list we have to create it here for i equal to for i in a range length of data columns you have to uh, apply the for loop till to data dot columns f equal to data dot column passing i parameter count equal to 0 you can count the total values For j equal to in range length of data of f, if data of f or j equal to equal to minus one hundred, then count plus equal to one. You have to check here the how many minus two hundred values available in our data set, and we check here the print them. We can append the list, comma f comma counts to original value. Values from each column that needs to be replaced with the average. Okay. Okay. Then next command is that num equal to data dot get numeric data. Num passing the square bracket num is less than equal to zero. Then print the our data set. Okay. You can check here. Okay. Up to there is a we can replace here the minus two hundred with the zero value. Okay. Then you can check here data set value dot can. It all that minus two hundred is replaced with the zero value. Okay, I learn it. You can check here. Get it, guys? You can check. Firstly, how to check two hundred up to? Uh, you can see here the only zero is here. Okay, exploration of data set. Okay, we can find out the outliers in our data set. Just a minus two hundred. Creating data set. Np dot random dot c. Then data equal to passing the parameter of our data set C O G T. Okay, printed data. Okay, using figure, figure equal to P I T dot figure passing the figure size. Then ten comma zero. You can check here the or box plot of data. Then P I T dot show. You can check the here. You can check here our is the there is an median side. How to find out the outliers from? Up, upper head data or below head data, okay? Overlapping or under overlapping, okay? We can check here the how to find out the outliers from our data set, okay? Then using visual analysis data, we can check here the how to 
using input pandas visual analysis you can check here the how to visualize our data set okay okay visual analysis is not defined how how it can be possible okay i will check just to second guess yeah. and directly import here the file okay import pandas visual analysis Sorry, import which one? Sorry, from in from pandas. Okay, we forget it. I will forget it. From pandas. Okay, you can check here. If it's required, just a two second guys, yeah? it will be done. Okay, passing the parameter visual analysis, you can check the graphical representation of data set. There is, you can find out the. Attractive session or subtractive nature. Okay. Okay. It's done. Okay. Wait just two seconds. I'll take the slide up here. Okay. Okay. Get it? Little bit upstairs. Yeah. Okay, you can you can check here the number of counts. Also, we can check the mean value. Also, check median value. I will drop it. We can also find out the first quarter. Also, median. Easily, you can. I just uh, click on minimum. We can change here. Okay, minimum value of it. Okay. Also, graphically representation of scattered plot is also here. You can check the Okay, standard is also is here. Okay, we can check here. Okay, then data of correlation. Okay, we can find out the correlation value between the two variables. We can correlate it. It's correlate to each other. Okay, correlation using the heat map graph. We can easily find out the. We create another variable. Correlation matrix equal to data dot correlation. Then we can find out the top correlation feature into correlation matrix. Okay, using index operator, you can find out easily. Then PLT dot figure size passing the parameters of figure size thirty by twenty to plot the heat heat map graph. You can create a new variable G equal to SNS dot heat map. Okay, in bracket data passing the top correlation feature dot correlation. And cannot be uh, equal to true and C map equal to vertices. Okay, you can check here the heat map also. There is a correlation between this variable. Okay, using SNS uh, dot pair plot, we can uh, compare each and uh, each column is to another column. We can easily find out the correlation between these variables. Next is the data dot plot. Kind equal to scatter. X equal to C six. X six pass in bracket G T. Y equal to P T G. We can uh, check the here our columns and name. X equal to X parameter and Y parameter. We can display here the plot graph in between these two variables. Okay, and P L T dot show. And next one is that we can uh, display over here the histogram using the Operator and we calculate the mean equal to passing the mean equal to fifty. Okay, here we can check here the quality of that air prediction. How to improve? How to how this uh, oxygen see carbon dioxide is affected on air also C six X also affected here. Then we can check here the from using this histogram we easily understand that the how to population will be predicted or how to correlation between this. Uh, frequency and uh, another plot graph. Okay, then highest of positive correlation can be seen so among the t variable R H C six axis. Okay, we can check here the zero point nine seven or zero point nine two. This is accuracy for this. Also, prediction used for this. Okay, we can check here also the 
C six X six. Okay. Feature dot head. We create a new variable feature equal to data. Feature dot data equal to we can drop here the unordered columns required. That is date time season. This column is also not required for this prediction of air quality. We also uh, uh, get a more accuracy. You have to drop the unordered columns from our data set. Okay. This command and also head command using feature dot head we can check here the these three upper stairs columns name are hidden from our data set. Okay. Only this column is required for the prediction. Minimum columns having the high high accuracy of of our map. Okay. Using that head, we can check here the okay. Then level another variable level equal to the passing the parameter of this data equal to C six X six. Okay. Level dot head we can check here the these are the values of C six X six. Okay. Then another we have to divide the data into training and testing part. You know all that our uh, current data store also divided into two parts: training and testing purpose. We have to divide our data into seventy thirty form. Then create a new variable that is x train x test y train y test. Okay, training train test is split in passing the parameters feature level and test size equal to point three. Okay. Print equal to x train dot shape on my train dot shape. We can check here the size of the training part and size of the testing part using shape shape method. Okay, we can check here the sorry how to run this. Okay, we can check here the total number of rows and total number of columns. Okay, also check here the testing order of columns. Another variable I will create it here. L R is zero for the linear regression. We can uh, use uh, we can use here the linear regression algorithm. It also uh, useful for the calculate the accuracy between the two independent variable or dependent variable using L R dot fit method. We passing the parameter x train and y train. Okay. Then we can calculate the score accuracy of that testing part. You can check here the zero point nine percent, nine five percent is the accuracy of testing part. Then we can also create a new another variable for prediction purpose that is y predictor. Then L R dot predictor passing the testing part. You can check here the prediction value of that. Okay. Then last one is the coefficient. That is L R dot coefficient. We can calculate here the coefficient values for to our data set. And also, last one is the mean squared error and R squared error. This is also useful for the calculation squared error, squared error value and R squared value. Okay, using that Y predict Y test and Y predict passing parameter. Another is that. A square value, okay. Coefficient of determination of percent to F passing the A square value passing parameter Y test and Y predict. We can check here the coefficient of determination value is zero point five six percent. Then we can say that the our model is provide the maximum accuracy that is zero point nine six. We can calculate also A square value, okay. Passing parameter Y test and Y predict. We can check the A square value is one, okay. And that is, guys. I will explain the in that tutorial the how to predict air quality prediction. Okay, this is also nowadays due to pandemic situation. It is very useful to how to avoid population. Okay, you can check here the. Okay, that is, guys. Thank you so much. Hi guys, my name is Dhanashree. Today I will explain another topic. Topic name is Open CV using Python. Open CV is a huge open source library for computer vision, machine learning, and image processing. Open CV supports variety of programming languages like Python. 
C++ and Java. It can process image and video to identify object face or even the handwriting of human. When it is integrated with various libraries such as the NumPy, which is a highly optimized library for numerical operation, then the number of icons increases in your whatever operation one can do in NumPy can be combined with OpenCV. OpenCV is an image processing library created by Intel and later supported by Willow Kundari Edge. OpenCV is open source and it is freely available to us. It is easy to use and install. When it is integrated with various libraries such as the NumPy, Python is capable to processing of the OpenCV array structure for analysis. To identify the image pattern and its various features, you, you, we will use vector space perform mathematical operation on these features. The purpose of computer vision is to understand the content of the images. It extract the description from the picture, which may be object as a text, text description and three-dimensional model. So, for example, your car can be facilitated with the computer vision, which can be able to identify the different objects around the road, such as the traffic lights, Pedal trains, traffic signs, so and acts according to that figure. We consider here the here traffic traffic light buildings around the around the specific analysis analysis the another different object cars person who is crossing the roads. Computer vision having different advantages like open source. Fast performing, easier to integrate, easy to coding, and faster prototyping. First one is the open source. The source code of OpenCV is free to modify and customize according to individual requirements. It, second one is the fast. The Python wrappers use C++ code in the background. That's why it is a very fast. Easier to integrate. OpenCV makes use numpy array which have are efficient for performing operation and data can be used with other libraries libraries like matloplib and sketlearn easy for coding python is easier to code as compared to other language you don't need to take care of pointers memory management etc fast prototyping with the python open civil library we can quickly build up a prototype model here. OpenCV having different functionality. First one is the image and video processing, display, code, image processing, object feature detection like object detection, feature to add geometry based monocular to stereo computer vision, computational photography like fruit photos, videos, machine learning and clustering, that is ML, CUDA acceleration. Application of OpenCV. There are different ways to use OpenCV. There are lots of applications are available nowadays. First, in your, first one is the face recognition. Second one is automated inspection and surveillance. Number of people count food traffic in mall, vehicle counting on highways along with their speed, interactive art installation, anonymity defect detection in the manufacturing process, the odd defective products, street view image switching, video and image search and retrieval, event detection, self-driving vehicles, military application, agriculture equipments, medical image processing, industrial automation. In different ways, we are using OpenCV here. Lots of career options are available nowadays. The initial goal of computer vision is to enable machine to see visual world just like a human do. But AI has a advanced computer vision beyond human vision. Now the computer can see the things human could not. Big data plays a major role. 
in a computer vision a huge amount of data required for better conclusion this is why the tech giants like google facebook apple are leading in the technology because they already have a homogeneous amount of data companies like spiskart instagram snapchat are all working on computer vision lots of companies are offering high paid jobs of computer vision and ml engineers thank you guys today i will explain the short concept of what is open cv exactly is image processing face detection face recognition handwriting detection how to use this open cv in our jupyter notebook we see just now two second guys i will open jupyter notebook to open cv you have to first install install open cv in your anaconda command prompt from you have to enter command overhead and just install open cv i already installed in my jupyter notebook first command is for image processing you have to import cv is a computer vision have second version alias is used for instead of cv2 use using the object as a cv another next command is import matlab lib dot plot dot plot as plt instead of matlab lib use using here plt as the object it is a very simple how to process our image into different ways how to read our image how to show our image first command is the image reading you have to create image object of cv that is computer vision you have to import here here for path of file location having i have i having earth globe dot jpg image file just i put it put it here a uh, image file path using image dot show command we have to display a red image or image now it is a very important the parameter of image read command you have to see that he it is a zero why it is a zero why why i am putting here zero value show that if i am putting one then cv image read color loads the color image and transparency neglected the color we have to change second we are passing zero parameter here the image color is the gray scale like a gray scale mode to load a gray scale. see that the here output the image of this color is a gray shadow color after we passing the minus 1 the image read unchanged of his color that is load the image including as such as alpha channel as it is that he share the another next command is image equal to cv dot image read in bracket passing parameter passing the file path of this image passing one parameter here he check, check the output using using plt dot image show passing parameter image you see that the image color is changed here another next command is passing minus 1 parameter you see the just a minor difference in between 1 and minus 1 the alpha channel as it is display over here another next 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 command is user for the how to how to display our image color first you have to importing open cv python module import cv to as cv importing matlab lib 
then read the image in color mode you have to create object image then write a command cv dot image read passing the path for it here and passing one parameter you have to convert vgr color mode into rgb color what is vgr blue gray red and another is red green blue then gray blue sorry rgb image you have to create another object rgb image equal to cv dot cvt color function and is passing over it you have to passing the cv color is pg to rgb you have to convert the image color into bgr to rgb mode that's why you have to write here bgr to rgb then write a command display image using matlab leaf dot equal to plt dot image show in bar in bracket passing rgb equal to image then we have to see it another command i want to write over it you have to convert rgb not you have to convert into pgr image equal to cv dot cvt color means convert color passing parameter image comma cv dot color cv dot color passing here picture r2 here rgb2 sorry rgb BGR first one is see that RGB to BGR then you have to see the image using PLT PLT dot image show passing the BGR RNG parent okay, got it you have to run using shortcut shift plus enter how to see how to convert file see for it you have to start from importing the cv open cv as cv import math app with you have to write another time then create image dot cv there is a minor difference in between conversion of rgb to vgr and vgr to rgb see that this one is a like a faint gray color and over is that the light very very large amount of gray color is over it how to see that over it that is guys today i will explain the story about the what is open cv how to process our image how to read our image there are different ways to using uh, different ways to display our image in different ways to how to see our image that is guys thank you for the listening video bye, -bye. hi guys dhanashree this time good evening in this tutorial we will check how to flip an image using python and open cv you will flip the image across the x axis and the y axis then access both axes. Python OpenCV handles images as jump by array. There are functions for rotating or flipping the image. There are methods of rotating image that is rotate image. First one is a cv2 dot rot rotate. Flip image with OpenCV function name is a cv2 dot flip. Rotate image at 90 degree, 180 degree, clockwise or anti-clockwise. For the basis of image processing with NumPy, see the following examples. You have to convert NV array without using open set. Then we will start the images by calling the flip function from CV2 model. As the first input, this function receives the image to which we want to apply the flip to. Okay. 
there are into that method first parameter is the image name and second parameter is the passing the value first is a zero for the flipping the image around the x axis that is vertical flipping greater than zero flipping around the y axis that is horizontal flipping less than zero for flipping around both axis okay so we start the flipping the image around the x axis by passing the value zero second argument of the function okay flip vertical equal to cvt dot flip original image comma zero okay i'll see i'll see the practically okay that's it i will open the jupyter notebook Into that first command, we have to import the library, which required two libraries here. First one is import cv2, then second import numpy as n. Into that first, uh, I load the image here. I want to load the image using the im read function. Create a variable called cv2 dot method im read from our path file path location. We call the read the image. I import the lenar dot png image here. I want to show the image using im show function. Then cvt dot vecti and other cvt dot destroy all the. I will run this command. You can see here the output lenar image output is display over us. Okay. Then I want to print the type of image. Then numpy dot nd array is the type of the image. Then print the image size or shape. Two twenty, two twenty, one hundred three. Three is the megapixel here, number of pixels. Then first method is image rotate ninety degree at clockwise. Using I create a variable rotate image ninety degree clockwise equal to cvt dot rotate. In bracket we pass the cvt rotate ninety degree clockwise method. This one is the method from import from our CVT now. Okay, then CVT I am right. This this command is check the check our passing file path location. The image is available or not, or this image is converted into rotate into ninety degree clockwise direction. Okay, then another next command is also check it. Check the image ninety degree counter clockwise direction. Same here. I will create another variable name, passing the cvt dot rotate method, passing parameter cvt comma cvt dot rotate ninety degree clockwise direction. This is the method name. Okay. Then another. I will check another again. I will check the file is available or not, passing from our path location. Okay, then I will check. Then it is true. Okay. Then another image rotated at one eighty degree. There is a function that is CVT rotate one eighty degree. Okay. Again, I will check the images are available. Okay. Then I want to display the rotated image that is first one is the rotate one eighty degree, ninety degree. Sorry. Here is ninety degree. Then using I am show function cvt dot I am show passing the name of the Windows frame, then passing the variable image rotate ninety degree clock. Okay, another is counter clockwise, and third one is a one eighty degree that is rotate. I will run this code. You can see here rotate image. Okay, this one is the first one. One eighty degree. This one is a ninety degree. Then another another we are using we have learned here that is flip. How to convert flip image into vertical horizontal direction? We have to import import model import CV two model. Then create variable image equal to cvt dot image rate. 
passing the file path location. You have to show the image here. That is lena.png. Okay, then I will call another function. Is a, I want to convert the please particle image. cvt.big image comma zero. Zero parameter. This was just one second. I will explain the how is zero parameter exactly. Okay, so this one. We can pass the following values to the second parameter. Okay, first parameter is the image name, and second parameter is the value. Zero for the flipping the image around the x axis. That is vertical flipping. Greater than zero for flipping around. That is one is greater than zero. For the flipping around the y axis, y axis that is horizontal flip, and you have to both both images, both axes are in place. That is the minus one is less than zero. You have to pass in the value is minus one. Okay. I will show you. This one flip vertical is equal to C V dot flip image. Passing zero parameter into that, we have to display the image vertical direction. Okay. Okay, I will run this code. You can show that vertical is means stretch. Okay. Another command is horizontal. Click horizontal equal to cvt dot click image comma one. One is know that click horizontal. You have to show the image cvt dot image show. Passing the right, right in the rear, the horizontal name of the frame, minus frame, then one variable. Okay, cvt dot wet kit, cvt dot destroy all the image. I will run this code. Okay, just a second. You can see that this one is the vertical, this one is the horizontal. You can see here the output of that the horizontal is that. Okay. Okay, another flip both. You have to flip create a, another variable variable now. Flip both. I want to x axis and y axis together. Then I will call the method that is cvt dot flip image comma minus one. Minus one is known that both axes are available into one image. Okay. Then I will run this comma. You can check here. Okay. Both the x axis and y axis are available. This one is the you have to import all the original image, vertical image, horizontal image into one image. Then you can check that. Okay. You can see here. Okay. This one is the original image. This one is the flip the vertical image. A vertical image and another is the flip the then both axes. Okay, original image or both axes are similar to this. That's it, guys. See how to learn today. What is uh, what is flipping? What is the uh, what are the different methods of rotating image? That is uh, 180 degree clockwise, 90 degree anti-clockwise direction. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for the listening.